It is going to take a few weeks to know just how effective a stay-at-home order and other social distancing efforts are in Colorado. But we could be social distancing through the summer. That is the word from Governor Polis this afternoon. This is CBS 4 News at 5, also streaming on CBSN Denver. We're going to begin, as always, with the latest headlines on the pandemic from Kelly Worthman. She is in the CBSN Denver studio. Kelly? Dominic, the governor did update us on the confirmed cases in Colorado, but again says that number is likely much higher than we know. There are more than 1,700 confirmed cases and 31 deaths in our state. 239 people have been hospitalized. We've learned Aurora police now have 21 officers in self-quarantine out of the abundance of caution and that an Arapahoe County deputy has tested positive. And we've been told that at least two homeless people in Denver now have COVID-19, so it's moved into that population of our state. Park Rangers have started closing facilities inside the White River National Forest. That closure will last until at least the end of April. The governor said today he is working to cut licensing requirements to get retired health care workers back on the front lines. Governor Polis again pressing the message that now is the time for all of us to step up and do our part. This is not a competition to see what you can get away with, right? We rely on people complying with the law. It's not a time to figure out how close you can get to the line. Now, as for our hospitals, Governor Polis says our state needs 7,000 ventilators. We currently have 900. He says we need 5,000 ICU hospital beds by this summer, and we currently have 1,800.